Hello guys, it is Ace4287, back with another video today, and we have episode 2 of This Gun is Jesus on Advanced Warfare. Thank you for tuning in to my channel, and I hope you enjoy the video. Just started off with a nice triple kill right there, actually. So today, we are on episode 2 of This Gun is Jesus, I know I just said that, but we are reviewing the HBR A3 uh, Average Joe. You get it from getting 300 kills with the HBR, it's the Marksman version. And it has a plus one to range, plus one to damage, and minus two to handling. In my personal opinion, this is the second HP or the second best HBR behind the Insanity. So I'm just gonna get into the stats today. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. I'm using the average Joe, obviously. I have the red dot on, and I'm pretty sure it. No, actually, I I don't. This is the old gameplay. Pretty sure I have extended mags on. Also, I am not sure. Wait. Yep. No, I I just have four grip. Uh. So anyway guys, I just want to say thank you for watching. I'm on Solar. I have a nice gameplay here on Kill Confirmed. Uh, I'm using the Assault Drone, the VSAT, and and the uh, UAV. So let's get into the stats. So the long range damage is actually only increased by 1. It's increased from 24 to 25. And I, I know that probably doesn't sound like a big difference, but it is. It changes the gun from a 5 shot to a 4 shot at long range. The HBRA3 is normally a 3 to 5 shot to kill. With this variant, it is always going to be a 3 to 4 shot. The longest 3 shot kill range of any assault rifle is actually on the HBR. And especially after its recent buff, it is now especially the most, it's the highest damage uh, assault rifle, that's for sure. But the low rate of fire does kind of, it makes the gun kind of weaker. But it, that's why the insanity is by far the best HBR. So the the medium range actually increases to 33. It's not that big of a difference in the medium uh, range to kill is still four shots. But if you popped out a, uh, I think it's stun. Yeah, I think no flash. Whatever one's in this game. If you threw a stat uh, flash uh, and you shot the guy three times, he would die. So with three shots of the HBR at medium range it gives them 99 uh, hit points which they have one health point left which is very very small uh, a grenade even somewhat hits them at all will kill them their screen gets very red and they're about to die very soon after you get those three shots in like I said you can throw a flashbang or basically any tactical grenade I'm, I'm pretty sure and it will kill them instantly so if you shoot them three times and they get launched with a noob tube and it's not the the grenade launcher was shot kind of far away but it still kind of hit them they would die very easily so it actually is uh it can it's more helpful than having it be the 30 uh damage points before but this is still a four shot kill at medium range the so the negatives to this gun we all know every variant has the positives and its negatives uh, these negatives aren't the biggest, especially for an assault rifle. I know a lot of people do like to hit fire with this gun. Personally, I do not. But this variant has 20% wider hit fire spread. So the handling is down too. So every point, uh, every point that the handling goes down, it's 10% for the gun. And I fail here epically. Pretty sure, yep, I fail there epically. So every point that the handling goes down for assault rifles, it's 10% wider hip fire this has minus two points so it's 20 percent you will kind of notice it but it's not the biggest deal the the goods definitely outweigh the bads in this variant by a long shot so just keep in mind you're gonna want to aim down your sights more it'll be better off for you and you'll just have you'll get more kills that way and you it's just better off so try to aim down your sights more if you're like me who doesn't really hit fire that much anyway especially with assault rifles this will be an amazing variant for you so, you can put any attachments on this gun. I actually have the foregrip and the red dot on my variant right now. Any attachments go good with this gun. Uh, nothing is bad. I'm, personally, I do like the iron sights, but I just decided to put on a red dot for this uh, specific video. The iron sights are kind of a little funky, and I know a ton of people really don't like them, which is why they don't really like the insanity that much, but... Right now, I'm going to get into the Insanity and Average Joe comparison. The Insanity actually does have the same damage uh, buff that this variant does. 
But with the Insanity, you also have the uh, faster fire rate, which is a huge deal with the HBR. It's actually a plus two fire rate. There's another variant of the HBR with a plus one fire rate. I do not currently have that variant, but it was it's a professional version and it's certainly one of the best three HBRs. There are three very good HBR A3s. There is the Insanity, there's the Average Joe, and the third one, I'm not quite sure, it's the Raider, that's right. The Raider has a plus one to fire rate, and the Insanity has a plus two. So the Insanity is basically one of the best guns in the game. Unfortunately, I do not have that or the Raider. This is the best HBR I have, but I still love using this gun. Uh, it does get me on pretty long streaks. It gets me pretty good gameplays. I'm sorry for the kind of camping gameplay. Uh, kill confirm. We, I do end up losing, unfortunately, but it was worth it. I, I thought this was a pretty good gameplay for you guys. Anyway, so the Insanity is by far the best HBR. In my opinion, it's the best gun in the game. That or the Speakeasy or the Inferno. Personally, I like the Inferno more than the Obsidian Steed, by the way, guys. I do I do not have the Obsidian Steed, but I've used it, and I just really love the Inferno. Because, and the reason I bring that up is because, for me, I am I like the fire rate. Oh, we got a really bad lag here. Oh, look at me. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't, I don't know what the hell happened to that guy. Anyway, guys, so I am a very big fire rate person. If the fire rate's up, I'm automatically going to like the gun more. Unless it's the MP11 Squeaker, which has a plus 2 to fire rate and minus 2 to accuracy. That's just too much. It's horrible. But if you're like me and like fire rate, the Insane is definitely going to be the best way to go. And you're probably going to love the Raider. I'm sure I would absolutely love that gun if I had it. But unfortunately, I have not been able to draw from a, a supply drop yet. Like I said, the Insane is a very good gun and... Like I said, the Speakeasy, which is also a high rate of fire, is also another really good gun. So it goes back to what I'm saying that I like the fire rate. The HBR is a very, very good assault rifle. You could, Some people actually do end up running it as a uh, submachine gun sometimes because, for one, it's pretty light. You can sprint with it and get across the map really fast, especially if you have lightweight on. That is one of the perks I do recommend, by the way. I, I, I'm not, I don't really recommend perks because, I mean, we all have our own perks. We all have what we like. If you guys are wondering what I'm using, I always run low profile and lightweight. And then for uh, tier 2, I run blind eye. And for tier 3, I run toughness and blast suppressor. So, like I was saying, the HPR Average Joe, it may not have the fire rate increase, but the damage increase is very well. Which is why people run around with it as a submachine gun. Because the 3 shot kill range is very, it's very good. It's it's the longest three shot kill range out of any assault rifle in the game. I don't know about submachine guns. Pretty sure assault rifles and submachine gun is the longest three shot kill range. Uh, unfortunately, with when it comes to running around with the guns, you do end up tending to hit fire a lot more. And with this version, you are unfortunately not able to hit fire. That's why the Raider is also a very good gun. But in my opinion, this outbeats the Raider. I have not used a Raider, but I do love this average Joe. Anyway guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the video, and I just kind of want to do a little video on this. This is this Gun is Jesus Episode 2. I do love this gun. If you have it, definitely keep it. Definitely check it out. Oh, well you can't get rid of it. It's the Marksman version. Like I said, so you have to get 300 kills with the HBR, any HBR variant, and you will get this gun. So that way you don't have to completely rely on it in the supply drop, which is another reason why I think it's better than the Raider. Because you don't have to, it's not all luck based. You can get it off just using the gun. I know 300 kills is actually a lot, but in the long run, it's definitely worth it. This is a great gun, guys. If you have it, definitely use it. If you have not played with the HBR yet, get those 300 kills to play with this variant, and I promise you won't regret it. Anyway, guys, this has been Ace4287. Thank you for watching. Please drop a like down below. It helps a lot, or give the rating you deserve you think is deserved. This has been Ace4287, guys. Have an amazing day. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe if you haven't, and goodbye.